Uh, I've seen them fly up there. Back. Oh, he's on there. He's on there. This is a good one. Oh, What's up, bitchin' and bassin' crew? Welcome back to another video. We are here, as usual, in the dungeon. It's got the best lighting, so. But before we do anything, we had a giveaway in the last video. If you guys watched the video the whole way through, you found the giveaway. And the only thing, you didn't even have to be subscribed. The only thing you had to do was comment crappy. So, I did a random, well, I didn't yet, but I will be by the time this video comes out. We're doing a random pick and Whoever wins, your name will be popping up right here. So make sure you get a hold of me through the comments here. Or message me. Uh, message me on my Instagram. It's probably the best way. Uh, and congrats, man. That's awesome. Whoever this was, he won a Contender Swim Bait, a Guggen Frog, and my favorite pack of Wacky Worms. So it was a pretty sweet giveaway. And all you guys had to do was watch the video and comment crappy. So make sure... You watch the video, Joe. Who knows when the next giveaway is? I might announce it. I might not. But anyways, congrats. On to the video. So this is a pre-spawn fishing my home lake, Lake Arthur. So basically, this is a video of like two weeks ago, like mid-April, mid like the second to last week of April. Bruh. This is basically that whole week, uh, a video compiled of that whole week of me trying to figure out the... Uh, Lake Arthur and the pre-spawn bite. And if you guys are in Western PA, you know our weather. It's always weird, but like it seems like every year it just like gets weirder. Like, did the the warm and cold spikes we have had this these fish like ready to pop? Like every fish I've caught from any lake in the last two weeks is ready to pop. I can't wait till we finally get some warm weather, which is still. I mean, we're t we're into May now, and it, it's still at least a week away. Basically, it's it's been tough. So. Um, it's been tougher than usual. What's weird is I haven't like really got on a chatterbait bite or a crankbait bite. And I know people that have, but for me, that's weird. I love cranking and I usually kill it at the beginning and end of the season. But what you'll see in this video is, guys, we put in tons of time on the water and you'll also meet a new fishing friend. I met a new fishing friend in this video. Uh, his name's Josh. I actually, he actually took a picture of the wiper I caught on Lake Arthur one day, if you guys follow my Instagram, you remember. And we ended up exchanging info, you know, after talking for a bit, and to, uh, we planned on meeting back up the fish. Well, we did this week. I actually went out with Josh twice. He's an awesome dude. He's a firefighter, a veteran, and just like a solid dude. He's getting into fishing a lot more heavily. He got to catch his first jig fish, which is an awesome fish. It almost was his PB. You guys will see all of that. So, um, but yeah, guys, the story was, was, it was kind of tough. I mean, the first day out with Josh, we spent four and a half hours fishing every grass lines, rocks, drop offs, bluff walls. And I mean, until we finally just ran up lake and got lucky by finding a bite. So I did add a new camera mount to Beatrice. It's the, uh, I can't, damn it. I can't remember the name, but it's a powered camera mount. It's awesome. It gives you the whole view of the boat. And you guys will be seeing a lot of this, this angle in this video, because like I said, the, the one day we spent four hours like I r didn't run out of batteries but like by that point I wasn't even thinking about the chest I just wanted to make sure like it was the first time I was fishing with Josh I wanted to make sure we got him a fish there is some shots from the the chesty but like I said guys um of that day most of it's from the back camera but I don't know why I'm talking about the camera so much. Let's get to the video case. But yeah, guys, this is pre-spawn fishing, Lake Arthur. We just, we're trying to figure them out. We kind of did, we kind of did, and it was a lot of junk fishing. But the key player, the key thing that we found out that was like my saving grace, like the whole week was a jig. And the cool thing about a jig is, or about a jig, the cool thing, like, I just decided to try something a lot of old school guys do, but I never did. And that's, as you guys can see, is hanging a chunk. Instead of threading a bait up on there like you regularly would, I just 
I watched a video or something and it just put the idea in my head and I was like, you know what, today we're going to do that. And this is a 3 8 uh, dirty jigs. They're some of my favorite jigs. It's a casting jig just with a Berkeley power bait max scent. Got to have that max scent uh, chunk on the back. And we threw it into some wood, a beaver dam, and that kind of just set it off, guys. So, and it, it ended up helping me out later in the week too. So. You guys will meet Josh. You guys will probably see him more because, like I said, he's a cool-ass dude to fish with. I actually went out with another fishing buddy this week on a different lake. That's another video coming after this. So if you're new, make sure to subscribe. I hope y'all catch a pig. I'm still waiting on mine. Um, but yeah, guys, enjoy the video, and I will see you on the next one. Make sure you subscribe, yo. It's in a good spot right now, too. I just can't get it sunk on the bottom. It was a tree again, and then I felt it again. Look at that jig fish, dude. And he ate it with that thing. Look, the freaking trailer's gone. Oh, thank God my man told us to come to the dam. Ooh, that's fish number three for the boat, and they're progressively getting bigger. We're going to get her on a scale. She should be right at three. I'm, I'm going to say three. I think like that, that like, and that's the thing, dude. I think I just been even moving 
too fast. It, we had to slow down from the start. We That's were what just, it was. We were reaction bait the whole time. Because what I was doing, like when it came through, you'll feel like, see how that tree, all the sticks are up there? It feels like it's that under, and I was kind of like trying to let it just hit over every one, and it like, it felt like when I got stuck when you had to pop it, but like I stopped for a second and I felt the double the did it did it, and I was like, oh, I'm setting the fucking hook. It didn't feel like that. It felt like that last one I caught. It felt like a pounder. I just wanted a decent fish. Still not the goal though. I went over a four, dude. Yeah. Went over a four. Remember to wash your hands later because this shit will be all over your face. Yep. So we're gonna go. I do want to like kind of mess. There's a lot of wood. I didn't even see that. Sit on this wood for another five ten minutes. I think there's wood back up if we go straight across into those cuts. Yeah. Again? Oh, no, it's, it's a pipe. It's a pipe. Oh, nice. You met it? Yeah, yeah, get the net. Dude, these videos right away, look, he has that big old thing on his head. Damn it, I need to find him that my fucking GoPro on. This is turning into an episode out of nowhere. <laughs> Killer <laughs> net job, hell? dude. Right, Killer net job. <laughs> you didn't even get the freaking, I didn't even give you time to tie the jig on. <laughs> dude, he ate it right away. Sick. Ooh, dude, he's blinding one. Them both eyes? What, what happened to what this thing, this? dude? I gotta get tied on, bro. <laughs> get tied on, bro. I'm getting all get excited here, man. Let me get my tools to get in. Oh, uh, don't mess up my smarties, bro. Oh, no. <laughs> dude, I swear they. Let me do it just in case it comes off. Yeah. Look how beat up. Dude, this thing's sick, dude. Look at all over his body. I'm gonna turn it this way. Yeah. And then look at, look at the hole my jig put in him. Look at that. I think we got on a little pattern here. Alright, so they're in this little cove. I'm gonna refish this shoreline again. Oh, now man. knowing you're right, knowing <laughs> that it needs to be like just don't move it. I'll just go right back. Dude, I threw right back where that on the other side of where that other one caught and he ate, he must have been swimming back there. It took freaking the drop shot for us to slow down. Yep. Both those bikes run, obviously there's a beaver dam, so like, we know to let it sit around wood. If you see wood, sit. I, mean, we, I mean, I mean, all my bikes have been coming from letting it sit either way. I just got tagged. Yeah, and that was not. Ah, I've seen them. So right in the middle, I just let it sit like, like, as slow as you can bring it back, and you'll feel like the slightest pullback. The slightest pullback. Oh, he's on there. He's on there. This is a good one. This is a real good one. Yeah. Oh, man. He's still staying up. That's a good one, dude. That's a good one. Come on. That's a good one. Oh. Yeah! Let's go, man. Big guy has been fucking set. set. Dude! Oh, <laughs> oh, dude, I don't even man. care if anybody's around right now. Dude, dude, did you see this fish? Dude, you took the hook. I thought you took the hook on the log for a second. You I just, thought I did dude, for a second. You didn't move. I forgot you got the lighter. Fish. That's why. That's, oh, yeah. Dude, hell yeah, Woo. dude. Oh, yeah. Look at that here. 
I'm not doing all the time. Oh, you're good. Dude, yeah. talk about figuring a pack. Dude, they want the jigs with the ball. Flappers, dude. Oh. Yeah, I was just saying. Yeah, like, Look at this! This might be my first one. Yes, I think oh, it dude. is. I think it's it. Is. Oh, that's 18, 18. 18. <laughs> Here's the bigger one, dude. I knew I felt his ass bite through this, huh? What's your PB? So, I think on record 297. I know that, but I do think Call I one, had a little think? over. A, I think I had a three and a half before. Are you ready for this? Yep, she's tearing. No way. There's no way that's too, too not, right? There's no way. That's no way. Look at the fucking gut on that. That's an 18 inch fish with a gut. You must be geeking or something. Dude, you tried it. How many casts with a jig did you make? Before, we've been casting three, all day. Maybe three. Because that's yeah. why, like, I, I forgot about all five hours before this. Yep, <laughs> no doubt about that. And I will also say that it's my first jig fish. Oh, dude, that's an awesome first jig fish, I, too. I'm telling dude. you, that, like, this is really my first time. Like, I, I've fished my whole life, but that's so first awesome. time ever getting into bass fishing. Sure. Mm -hmm. You too, guys. If nothing else, enjoy the beautiful day. You know what I mean? I'm just happy to be wearing shorts. Yeah, you know, it drops off. So I want to try to fish that. Got a bit on this, the savage gear. Ooh, it's a good one. Ooh, it's a good one. Ooh, it's a good one. It's a good one. Yeah, please tell me that was recording. Dude, he hit it so light, and then I realized my bait was nowhere near in the, look, he barely had it. And dude, this dude's teeth are sharp. Look at that hog. Dude. Dude. We're gonna get him. Look at that beautiful pre-spawn freaking oh dude, he just wanted the bluegill. Beautiful pre-spawn freaking largemouth, dude. Heavy fish. Let's go. Let's go, baby. Woo! 
Look at that, y'all. That's what she ate. Such a gorgeous fish. Get you a little bit more drink, girl. Look at that fish, dude. Here, we got some shit in between her gills. Look at that fish, dude. Look at that fish. She's got a killer gut on her, dude. It looks big, but I always overestimate. I always do. Because, guys, I know you can tell on camera, but in person, fish just look giant. Plus, I over freak out about everything. Damn, it's still in kilograms. Screw it. 1.74 kilograms. But like I said, guys, they look huge in person. Either way, she gave me a killer bite. That's gotta be like a four pound fish. Right at four pounds, I guess. Let's measure, see what she gets. Oh, no. Is 19 and a quarter inch. Yeah, 19 and a half if you squeeze. That's a four pounder. De what a killer bite, dude. She destroyed the freaking Savage Gear Pulse tail. You guys got to get one of those. I Hopefully she didn't ruin it, but blah. let's go. Let's let her go. Nice, uh, look at that. That would, this would have been Josh's PB, dude. It would have been. There she goes. Ah, oh, hell yeah. Yeah. There she goes. You're shallow, girl. Swim back out deep. Look at her, dude. Gorgeous fish. Gorgeous fish. We're out here for, baby.
got one just now. I have a dog. Oh, cool. Is that, that, it's a good one. Oh my god. Man. I gotta go. I gotta go. Oh my god, yeah. dude. Damn it. Bruh. <laughs> I'm like, yo, what the fuck is that? That's a good pipe, man. It is a good pipe. Dude, I didn't uh, feel that at all. Yeah. That's a big pipe, dude. What'd you get him on? He ate the wacky worm. Like, there's no way I'm getting that thing back. Oh, no. Dude, he, like, hooks himself, dude. I can't believe that rod just brought that in. Dude, dude, he just came up and splashed. I was like, holy shit, they came up the grass. At least this guy's healthy. And look, he's got a gut on him. Yeah, that's a nice one. He just ate one. something, dude. Yes, but hey, no skunk. And he's, dude, he's kind of heavy. I'm, he's a That's thick. A good pipe, dude. He's thick. Yeah. I didn't even feel the bite, dog. That's it just crazy. got heavy. I like just lifted up and he freaking. Rrr, rrr, rrr. That looks so good too. Yeah. Nice. I haven't caught a bass. Josh caught the only bass, but that's a good size pike. He ate the wacky rear worm, y'all. Bitching and piking today, I guess. Yeah, right. Man, he's gorgeous. You see his colors? I've never caught this pretty of a pike. Alright. I go. Alright, yeah. Yeah. Pike. Like hit the jig, I was like, oh, we were coming up on the spot too. Yeah. Getting ready. Getting ready. Not quite there. Thank you, sir. Just away. I love yeah, that. Super cool. Hit the jig. Back on our jig spot. Caught another jig fish. You fall right around two. One. One. Damn close. One point eight two. That's that's a two pounder. Nice job. Not bad fish. Go, baby. Ready to 